Hello, my name's Ian and I'm part of the Baxi training team. And today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about flow temperatures. There's been a lot of talk in the press and you may have heard about reducing your flow temperature on your boiler to save you some money. So the first question we have to ask ourselves is, what is a flow temperature? Realistically, all it is, is the temperature of the water coming out of your boiler, traveling to your radiators. And absolutely, reducing it can save you money, as long as you have the right boiler. And the boiler we're talking about today is a condensing combination boiler. So if you have a boiler, say, with a cylinder like this one here, we're not talking about that sort of boiler. If you've got an old boiler, say over 15 years old, it might not be a condensing boiler. So how do you know if it's a condensing boiler? You quite simply look underneath the boiler, and you can just see here, you'll have a white pipe leaving the boiler going outside or maybe to a drain. That indicates that it is a condensing boiler. So your boiler will be designed to run at a certain flow temperature. But what you have to bear in mind is, your boiler will be designed to heat your home down to about minus two degrees. And it's not always minus two out there, is it? So your boiler could run at a lower flow temperature, saving you money for most of the year. You have to remember that when it is very, very cold, down to zero, minus two, you'd have to turn the boiler temperature up again. But when the weather warms up, just simply turn it down and you'll be able to save yourself some money again. So when I'm looking at this type of boiler here, it's a combination boiler, it has a hot water dial and a heating dial. The heating dial is what I'm concentrating on. If I turn that all the way up, it's gonna go up to 80 degrees, my maximum set point. But as I turn it down, what I'm doing is lowering that flow temperature. And I'm gonna lower it down to 55 degrees. And at 55 degrees, I will be at my most efficient, saving you the most money. So as a quick recap, what we're talking about is lowering your flow temperature, but keeping your house warm. And the advice we're giving today relates to a modern day combination boiler, a condensing combi. If you have a cylinder in an airing cupboard, this advice is not for you. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of advice to help you save a bit of money across the winter and stay warm. <laughs>